It's been four months and 12 days since Alpha Kebla was elected as the president of the IPAM Student Union. But since then, a lot of people have not heard from him much. So the Bill Hack Diplomatic Talk Show took a time out to talk to him about his tenure of office, his struggles so far, and his future plans for the union. Here is a video. Hello and welcome to the Bill Hack Diplomatic Talk Show. Today we are interviewing one of the most inspirational and powerful young men in our country right now who is no other person but Mr. Kaba. So I want you to stay fixed and focused as you listen to what he's about to say. Thank you very much. Hello, sir. Yeah, for you. Yeah, fine, sir. Well, um, my name is Ibrahim Tijan Fofana from the Bill Hack Diplomatic Talk Show. Well, um, we've been hearing about your activities on campus and also um, in the country. And many youths out there, many IPAMAs out there, they would like to um, know like some of your activities that you've done. So I'll go by uh, starting like um, Mr. Kaba, viewers and students who want to know what is your leadership all about. Um, thank you very much for having me today and um, thank you very much. You know, let me first of all what, um, appreciate my students at IPAM and also the general public of um, um, Sierra Leone. And also let me express my thanks and appreciation to His Excellency President Julius Malabio for giving us a chance to have our voice heard again on campus. You know, over the years, student union issue has been on hold for quite a long time. And um, now we have the Students' Union, and people are expecting enough things to be done by the president, I myself, um, the president of IPAM. Yeah. You know, the other thing that I'm actually trying to fix, for like, um, you actually made mention that when I was campaigning, yeah. there are many things that I promised to deliver to my colleague students on campus. You know, it's very much um, evident around that um, there are various things that are wrong. You know, um, initially, we are giving transcripts to people at the floor um, course, which is a um, progressive transcript. But like, um, due to one of the reasons, due to the exams and also some great issues, that has actually been on hold for now, but we try to continue that one in, um, in coming time. And also, as a president, you know, my door has always been open to my colleague students in terms of like, advocacy that they have, ensuring that um, their welfare has been met. Because, you know, being a president, you're not just there to serve yourself. That's the concept that I believe in. You know, people are going to be in the capacity here, and you are supposed to serve those people, and that has always been my mandate. You know, being here from morning to town is not just an easy place. Yeah. I have to come here um, from morning up to like the evening hours. You have to take my classes. This, that's a sacrifice for me, and that's the mandate I owe to my colleagues to go to campus. And also, you know, as I come, um, there are various issues that are actually discouraging students. Um, the lack of missing grade and the lack of um, so many things like the toilet facility, transportation issues, which we are trying to work on. You know, for the missing grade, actually, uh, it's a good news for us to have that this semester, the, at the end of this semester, we'll not be having a missing grade. Wow. And also because um, most of the missing grades, actually, we have past missing grades that we are trying to recover because they had happened before even I become president. So I'm trying to ensure that I fix all those issues because it's so much burning to students for them to sit to the exams and then at the end of the day they don't have good for that particular exam. And also, you know, at IPAM, initially we lack medical facilities on campus and um, through the help of my professor, my DVC, Professor Nune, we can now post up a medical facility on campus where in, if somebody gets healed, emergency issues come up, you can be able to be attended to. You know, those are kind of things that should not be missing on campus. Those facilities should be present on every campus. Um, you know, that's the that's what keeps students on campus. That's what keeps them like having life at you know enjoying your educational system. And pretty soon there are so many plans that I actually intend to implement at IPAM. You know, so many of them, a whole lot of plans. So Mr. Kaba, um, upon all these achievements that you all these things that you have achieved, so like what is your relationship with the USL? Um, administration, the IPAM USL administration, your relationship with them? Um, 
in our relationship with the Karma administration, we somehow call the because even every day we are used to meet the BBC and even yesterday I was on his legs. I would discuss the way forward because whatever the issue that has to be concerned, that has to concern student has to come to my deck space before I ever going to his own decks. So I'm kind of intermediary between the students and that of the admin. <clears throat> so there should be that cordiality. And so far it's been so much friendly in our part because like we try to express our own um, personal concern that we are having as a student because not everyone will be there to knock at the door of the DVC, not everyone will be there to knock at the door of the dean or the head of the um, department. There must be somebody to represent you. Yeah, yeah. And um, so far I've been doing so, so many works in the part of students to ensure their welfare have been met. And you know, a couple of days ago, we are discussing about exams, how exams is going, what was the performance of students on campus. You know, these are kind of things that students actually need to be advised about because they may be confused to say we yeah. had an exam, but our grades are not yet out as the rumor is going on. Yeah, sure. But I like, can keeping them informed on some of these issues can put them in a better place to say we are secured. Because my main purpose is to ensure that this, um, the security of students on campus have been met and not compromised and also to ensure that welfare has been met. And so far, the, the relationship between the union and that of the admin has been so much cordial. Um, thank you very much, Mr. Kaba. So let us go now to your past election. Yeah. You, know, you, you actually won against Mr. Magnus. Yes. So what has been the relationship between you and Mr. Magnus? Um, you know, in terms of like students' politics, you know, for me, after election, everything gone, everything was done, before, like, I still want to be friend. We even used to chat. We used to, um, he used to like give me some cordial kind of um, advice to my government. You know, um, it's it not like somebody having a fight and then afterwards meeting an enemy sure, sure. on campus. You are we here. We just stay here for just like four years. Okay. It's gonna be nice for me to be making somebody a fool yeah, yeah. while maybe later on in the future we might be interacting with different cadre. Yeah. So the. The relationship between I and my opponent, Magnus, has been cordial, and uh, except some few clashes between supporters, which yeah, might be the order of the yeah. day. So, like, these are things that you must be expecting. Probably, may not be involved, but like the supporters may be having this kind of perception, even after the election. They, would have to, they have their own way of perceiving things. Uh, but so far, we are having a cordial time that uh, there's not so much of a conflict between the two of us. So, um, since you came in, at the presidents of the Great Ipam University. So, um, have, did you actually call in, like, to say, let us come and work, like, you also give me a position or? Yeah, you know, my government is, is an inclusive government, you know. Uh, even our past program, I can recall well, um, our innovation program, which was um, a couple of weeks back, I sent an invitation to him uh, personally for him to be part of the um, the, 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 the occasion because I think it's, it's not a kind of enemy between yeah, the two yeah. of us. It's just like um, we are at the election and then the election has gone. I think there should be that plans for me and I should be inviting him to whatever program we have and whatever thing that's needed for him to show up on. And for the position, actually, we have some position that we actually give to some people in his, um, in his own government. You know, it might not be key position because you know this is a, a kind of trying to make sure we have stake in our government. Yeah. So like, but honestly, we have been having that cordiality as far as um, opposition has been concerned, and we I actually open my doors to them whenever they want to come in. Probably they have issues, you know, they are students on campus as well. So like, I come with them, whatever I have to offer to them, to order to them, that the same thing I offer to them back as well. There's no kind of. Um, Discrepancy in any way of my service today. So, uh, in your earlier speech, you did yeah, mention yeah. about the yeah. 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 very yeah. issue because <laughs> I was trying to I was trying to engage you on that, but since you've already mentioned on that, yeah. so now let us move to um, what are your actual plans? You know, because yeah, it was the end. So, viewers out there, I out there. And also, I pamas that you know that are also in the different places. Let me say, all students also, we want to know your future plans for us, your leadership. Is this for the good of my leadership in general? Uh, yeah. For your leadership, you okay. know. My leadership, you know, there are so many things that I actually intend to do um, in my tenure because um, I actually promise a lot to my colleague students out there. 
you know, couple of times I've been having challenge with finance, you know, that's why I'm in the government and the industry work. Um, but my government has not been likewise, you know, I've been having some constraints of um, finance because when we took over as a, as a government, we didn't inherit any fund, actually, that's um, the hard fact. And we, we actually have to manage in our way to ensure that we keep the office running. Even my being here, just like kind of being um, kind of committed to the job and the love I have for the job and also the promise that I make to my colleague student. Um, so far, to my plans, there are so many plans that I actually intend to implement. The life of, um, I did promise for us to have a course, which I'm actually working on. I'm working on that with my team to ensure we have a campus course because it's something very much alarming. Other campus do have a course for like um, for IPAM. We're not in that major. Mm -hmm. So I want to ensure that we have a course and trying to engage the different stakeholders that can support us because they are willing to support except uh, except you have to meet them, tell them a concern that this is what we are going through so they can be able to come to your aid. And also I did promise that um, we will be having a kind of um, free internet on campus which I'm seriously working on. Yesterday I met the Minister of Communication, Mr. Raman Swari, and um, I engaged him. I, I and my um, communication minister were there, Mr. Communication Minister Bangura. We are there, we engage him. We actually did profile our ideas to him that we need um, internet on campus because I think it's the biggest institution. Yeah, yeah. We just can't be here like for learning every day. You want to do research, you want to do something on the net. But you can't be able to have this facility. It's very much poor. So I'm actually trying to put that in place as soon as possible. And also, um, the issue of um, street flight, these are parts we've seen from Ejimu Street to IPAM, and that's from the from Firefox to IPAM. Yeah. We actually have seen the need for us to have that place um, lighting. Because like, um, during the term of night, late hours of night, you know, more especially when it's people to them because that's how um, from these boys around, you know, it's so much, it's a menace actually. So we try to see how best we can be able to put a stop to this by um, ensuring that the lights is being provided out there for them to be able to like, um, just make the place a safe place to be. And also I did promise people that I'm going to have um, the issue of water on campus remedy. I'm actually working on that because um, these things do have capital, they are capital intensive projects. So I will not be able to undertake them solely as the nature of how I inherited the government. So I would have to engage the appropriate authorities for them to come to my assistance, which of course most of them are ready to open their doors. And I'm actually trying to engage them appropriately because they also would like to see something developmental sure, as yeah. far as it's university project as well as something for the student. So those are things that I actually tend to implement um, in my agenda. So in the area, because there are some students as well that are going to have the means to pay school fees, uh, like going to the university, and yeah. some of them, I noticed that you are most of them to <coughs> take their first semester exam. Mm -hmm. So like, what are some of the things that you have put in place for each student? Because I think, um, because the government was talking about students' loan the yeah. other day, so I don't know. What's your take on that? Yeah, I'm actually engaging the the right authorities um, to regard that in terms of like um, in my own party as a as a president of IPAM um, to ensure that the welfare of students have been met. Um, first semester exam, I can recall here, we did advocate for them to to the exam. Even most of them by then have not paid their fees. But we just have to do that because as a president, I will not just sit by and see my colleagues student being driven outside the field. Um, I did advocate for them to sit to the exams, which was granted to me by um, the administration, Professor um, Muni. This semester actually has been a kind of hard line because they have to pay their fees. It's not like a free service. If they have been encouraged to, to take the exam through, of course, at first semester, I think it's worth for them to like um, pay for second semester. Because most of them would be living without paying. Most of them might be in final year, most of them could be in third year. So, and also the institution need money to be run, just like every other institution do need money. So basically, in terms of like scholarship, we are trying to engage the central government because they are the one granting that one. We are trying to engage them appropriately, more especially the uh, Ministry of Education.
trying to engage them to see the need for, for them to be for us to be having more scholarship at IPAM. Look at like at IPAM you have different kind of people, you have disabled people, you have the vulnerable, you have people who are less privileged to pay their own fees. So like I think I believe in strongly if I advocate for them to be like assisted in a kind of way, it should be much more better for them to be encouraged to move forward with their education. Because it's very much challenging, you know, the, the way people are living, the standard of living might be poor for some people, even to meet their daily living might be challenging. So these are some of the things that I'm actually trying to, to see that um, I do implement as a president. Okay, well, I think you have the lesson on that very much. So, like, what do you think about this idea of student loan? Because some of these students don't have the money to pay, and yeah. they don't even have places that they, you know, have this money for. So, what do you think about these students? Bro? Like, the loan, like the governments who give a loan to certain students that are unable to pay their university fees, and after they have graduated, they will be able to be paid at a certain um, account, like monthly or. So. Yeah, that's an excellent one. You know, his excellency when he did say that. Um, his flagship program was to promote um, education, which I think is very much actively working on. You know, this is a good idea for students to be having this kind of loan. Um, for you to go through your course and then you pay later, because as I said earlier, not all the fingers are equal. You know, some people, even for them to get their daily bread is, is difficult. So like, having this kind of in, in initiative help them to be intact in their educational activities. Because just imagine of a way somebody has to um, find these who are living and then at the same time going to college it seems to be challenging. It even has to reflect on your academic performance. So I believe such idea of um, introducing the student loan is a good idea and a very much welcome one. Um, except otherwise for some students, that is why loyalty comes in when after you have taken the loan, you have to come up and pay the loan. Because government just don't have to spend on you. Yeah. You would have to get back something in return to the government. I think um, that's one of the things that has to be implemented because when once the government sponsors you, you also have something in return to offer the government. Because we are the government, we make up the government. So it's a good idea actually, in my own view. So um, IPAM is going, yeah. going very big right now. Yeah, sure. So like many of the students out there are complaining of something like um, um, toilet facility and also employment. Um, embarrassment or harassment in one way or the, or the other. So what have you done in order to fix that particular arena? You know, that one seems to be, um, it's not new actually, it's not new to the job market to start with. And also the issue of um, the population of IPAM getting broader. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a way, there's a plan and a way to solve that situation. If you can recall well, we have um, newly, the IPAM project at Guatemala just been approved by the Parliament of Sierra Leone and um, we try to ensure that by it's like two year project or probably two and a half year project which of course will be able to house more than two thousand students. That's a big that's a big way forward to solve the issue of overcrowding on campus. Because you know I um, the demand for service at IPAM is so large people will not just be able to house in one under one roof. Yeah, yeah. That's why the need um arise for them for us to have another campus that can house a large number of students. Um, recently, Professor Noni, our DVC, has been working on students to ensure we have the Google Town project been approved, which is a plus to all of us. We are there, we give the support as a government, and also it was successful. You know, um, in two years' time to come, we will not be having this kind of constraint. Because um, over time, IPAM has been having so many populations, actually. For now, it's like the population is getting increased each and every year. So there must be something to make sure that this one is being remedied. Otherwise, it will not be the best way forward. For so that's why, as institution, they see the need for us to have another campus which should be able to house more than 2,000 students. That's a big plus to us. You know, as I found, um, for the water, for the issue of water um, problem, you know, considering the location of my farm, it's a hilly place, the topography seems to be hilly. And that limits the, the supply of water, even 
if it's a five one water, it might be very much difficult for you to have access to that. Now, how the operate is being done on a plant basis, um, the bouncer has to go down, fetch water, and then come. You know, that's what shall, water has to be finished. Maybe within one day, or probably it will not even last a day. So these are concerns that we're actually facing. But as, as a government, I'm also trying to step in to ensure we have a four-hole system, which can be a good remedy to ensure that um, we solve the issue of water and social campus. Because water is life. Students cannot be able to go without water. You know, we have a large population, and then all of these people using water, you may be using the bathroom, maybe using the restroom, so on and so forth. So, um, in conclusion, what is your general advice to us, um, all the students that are attending ICOM University? You know, my, own, my view and advice to students is just like they have to take their academic work very much serious. Even for you to be a type of signifies that you are actually ready to learn. Yeah. But that should not stop there. You have to further your ambition. You know, being an Alpama isn't just like you being out there boosting to people that I at an Alpama. But it's what you actually gain out of Alpama. You know, even there are so many opportunities out there when you shall have graduated. 